Watch out, world, I'm coming through. Watch out, watch out, world, I'm coming through. Watch out. You've experienced life. Watch out, world, I'm coming through. Watch out, watch out, world, I'm coming through. Watch out. You've experienced life, love, lost, have no fear. Just keep pushing, be strong. Keep the faith until change comes. The strength is not how much you can ever overcome in what you could do. What's up, y'all? Happy New Year! It is 2024. Look, God has allowed us to go through the whole year and to cross over into a new year. I am so excited about what he is doing in this new season. I don't know what the future holds. <laughs> But I know who holds the future, and I am so, 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 so excited. Listen, welcome to the ABCs of Experiencing Life, Love, and Loss. We are here for First Monday. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you for those who have been supporting up until the letter U. We are up to the letter U. And I am so excited on what this show is going to be. Look, I'm going to be quick today because I know it's in the new year. You're hanging out with your family. I had a house full of people. but uh, So we are enjoying our family. Hopefully you all have had a very, very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's go out and give some shout outs. Listen, y'all go ahead and log in your name. Let me know who is here with us so i can get uh get some shout outs i see some people on here go ahead and just put your name there so i can shout you out what's up to janine go ahead janine girl eyes here eyes here somebody been watching color purple eyes here and i'm on time happy new year happy new year to you too janine good to have you here thank you so much for being so supportive I love you, girl. And what's up to Elder Dwayne Flowers? How are you? Happy New Year. You got to change your name. Your name past the flowers now. Happy New Year. Hopefully you all had a wonderful, wonderful service. I'm sure y'all got had watch my service uh, last night. Shay, Happy New Year, girl. We made it. We made it to another year. What up, Saint? Hey, Thetis, go, what's going on? And Kilo, what up? TC in the house, college friend. Haven't saw you, seen you in a long time. Good to have you here. And my auntie, Leisha. Hey, auntie. That's my auntie. That's my sorrow. That's my confidant. That's my friend. That's my homegirl. What's up, auntie Leisha? And Lori, 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 that's my girl. Hey, Lori, happy new year to you. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Just taking a little part of your New Year's Day just to uh, just give some keys on today. I'm just going to give some keys today. Uh, and share this live. 
Listen, today is going to be life changing. I think I am going to drop some nuggets that will really benefit us through this particular year. So if you can go ahead and share it on your page. You never know who might need this word or who might be blessed by this message or who might just want to share it with someone else. You just, you never know, you never know. You never know. You never, 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 never know. Oh, 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 oh. I don't even remember who sang that. But you never know. Hey, now it is tea time with Tisha. Listen, let's spill some tea. So for those of you that do not know, tea time is your opportunity to ask me any question that does not have anything to do, it does not have to have anything to do with our topic for today. Just if you were just wondering something about Tisha, like, girl, now is the time to ask that question. Now, I know I say tea time. I'm a coffee fanatic. I, I drink tea, but I prefer coffee. Plus, coffee get, keep me hype, keep me on my game. Mm, that's good. All right. Uh, is this a question? Hey, cuz, how are you doing? And happy new year. Okay, that's a good question. How am I doing? Um, I really appreciate that question. What I was thinking about, um, I was preparing for a professional development with some people, and they was asking, like, what is a good startup question. You know, how do we begin? And I said, you know what? Sometimes we need to just ask people how you're doing because, you know, it's a norm for us to say, hey, how are you? And then we just walk on. <laughs> how are you? And we just walk off. But to just listen to someone and say, how are you doing? So I appreciate that question. I am doing good. Um, I was a little uh, frustrated a little bit before I got on, but I have drunk my coffee and uh, Got prayed for, and I am doing okay. I do believe that this year is going to be a great year based on our belief system. So for me, I'm focused on this year and paying attention and being very intentional with what I say, with what comes out of my mouth. So I have to check myself, even in, in casual conversation, or even when I'm with myself and just thinking in my thoughts, I have to make sure that I allow my thoughts to not go further into what I do not want, because I have to be careful in saying things that I do not want. I have to be intentional in speaking in what I want in this 2024. So that's how I am doing. I guess that answers your question too. What's my goal? That's my number one goal. That is my number one goal because I believe firmly that I can have whatever I say. So I have to be careful in what I say because I am going to have it. All right. I'll take one more for tea time. Um, no, I'm going to take two. Because I see that next question, I, I, I want I want to hit that. When will you have another talk show? You know, somebody else just asked me that today. And my plan was to do one um, in February. I wanted to have the love part. You know, the experience in life, love, and loss. So I've already done Manifest in Life. I wanted to do Manifest in Love in February. Didn't work out, right? So uh, I'm going to push it back to the spring. So in springtime, we're going to spring forth with another talk show because I enjoy having those. I'm take this question. Do you have any regrets about anything you did or didn't do in 2023? Yes, uh, I wasted quite a bit of money in 2023. Um, also, things I should have I should have saved the, the money instead of spending it. So. Um, I have to do more of being conscious of my spending habits, right? So I regret spending a whole lot of money, really, 
going out to eat, not cooking, and stuff like that. So that is my regret. Oh, uh, so that is tea time with Tisha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you all for your great questions. I really, really, really appreciate them. Y'all came with it today. <laughs> Y'all came with the tea today. So that is me pouring out my heart and opening up being very transparent because I'm just your homegirl. I am a roundaway girl. I don't even know if I should be saying that. I don't even know what a roundaway girl means. I don't know what they was talking about. But anyway, go ahead. Don't forget to share this live. I'm going to say this one more time. Go ahead and share it. It's going to be epic and life changing. So we are up to the letter U. You all know I started off at A and now I am up to you. Like the alphabet is about to run out. I'm going to have to start going to the Greek alphabet. Because <laughs> the uh, English alphabet is running out of letters. But anyway, we're talking about unlock. Unlock what? When we think about unlocking something um, it is to open something especially a door that is locked that is fastened with a lock that usually takes a key when we talk about a door that is locked in order to unlock it it takes a key so we're going to focus on the keys to manifest in life in this 2024 right so when i think about the doors, according to the Jewish calendar, we are in the year of 5784. Listen, you all, I started preparing for this a uh, few weeks ago, and I got confirmation yesterday at church. I went to church Sunday morning. Yesterday at church, two preachers, a pastor, my pastor got up and started talking about um, the year 5784, and then his other pastor got up and started talking about the year 5784. That that was confirmation for me that I am talking about the right thing at the right time, right? So it is the year of open doors. It's also the year of closed doors. We're focusing on the open doors. It is like, rock. it comes from Rosh Hashanah, right? Rosh Hashanah welcomes the new the Jewish New Year, and this is that particular year. So their calendar is different from ours. Their calendar starts uh, like September, September the fifteenth, I, I believe, and then it ends in October. So it would end in October twentieth, twenty twenty four. In this Jewish calendar, we're in the year of 5784. Rosh Hashanah, I know y'all heard me say that. That's a Hebrew word, right? Which means the head of the year. And it falls like on the biblical feast of trumpets. So what does 5784 mean? It means it is the year of open doors. I don't know about you, but in this season, in this time, I am believing, I am praying for open doors. Not only open doors, but I need my ears open so I can hear when that door cracks open. I need my eyes to be open so I can see when that door open. And I also need my heart to be open so I can receive when it's time to go through that particular door. And I'm sure some of you are like, well, Tisha, why are you talking about the Jewish calendar? Like, I am not a Jew. This is true. Yeah, but you're not a Mexican either. And you celebrate Cinco de Mayo like crazy. Uh, you're not Irish, but can't beat you celebrating St. Patrick's Day. You have on your green. So we have these customs that we pick up on um, that we're not uh, naturally um genetically born into but we can still celebrate we can still take on those beliefs and live our life uh up under it and celebrate it so we're talking about the word unlock right so it's unlock when i think about the word unlock there are so many things that we can unlock in the atmosphere. But the main thing we're focusing on is a door. 
I was having a conversation um, the other day about locked doors, right? They were sharing with me that sometimes we can go through another door because um, it's time to go through a door, but we have recently come out of a door. And it's almost impossible for us to go through this other door without making sure we have closed the door that we have just come out of. Why is that such an importance for us to close the door? Make sure that door is locked. Because leaving a door open that should be closed is almost like living in the past. So you ever seen like someone dressed up, let's say it's Easter. You see someone dressed up and they have on like a three-piece suit. Um, don't get me wrong. Now, I like three-piece suits. But this particular three-piece suit has a butterfly collar on it. It's like multicolored, uh, perhaps a hot pink butterfly collar uh, shirt with a multicolored suit with some Stacy Adams and a pimped out hat that's turned to the side. Now, when you look at this particular person, they look like 1975 or something like that. Uh, when you look at them, it's written all over them that they still living in the past. Almost make you want to say like, man, you need to retire that whole outfit, right? So that's what it looks like when we don't close the door from what we've just come out of. It's like we have to exit that particular door and make sure those things are closed so those things won't affect us anymore. Not just close it, but lock it, right? So those things don't hinder us in our future or in our new door, right? Not go back to the past. Can somebody type out there, I'm not going back. I'm moving forward. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to move forward. Anybody in the comments feel like they're at a point in their life where they can say, I'm not going back. I'm moving forward. Right? Thank you, thank you, thank you for standing with me with that. I'm not going back. I am moving forward. So when it comes to the keys to manifestation, that's what we're going to focus on today. But talking about manifestation, there is a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. I'm going to say that again. There's a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. I don't care who you are, what status you're in, how old you are. No one is ready to receive this new thing, this change, and uh, this newness until they believe that they can acquire it. Almost like your state of mind, your belief system cannot be in a sense of mere hope or wishes. You cannot, uh, what's it? You cannot, I dream a genie, this thing, like blink and it just happens. No, you cannot just say it's going to happen and then it, expect it to happen. There has to be some open-mindedness, right? That is essential for your belief system. First of all, a closed mind would not inspire anything, would not acquire anything, but you have to have an open mind. So the question is, what are the keys to unlocking this manifestation that I'm talking about? I have four of them for you. The first one is, the first key is that you have to see it. The second key is that you say it slash display it. Oh, that sounds good. Say it, display it. The third one is you have to receive it. And then fourth is getting that particular manifestation. You have to go through these particular things to get this manifestation. Number one is see it. Two, say it, display it. Three, receive it. And four is manifestation. Okay, so let's talk about the first key. That is to see it. 
what does that mean? What am I saying? Um, I'm not saying you need these bifocals or you need some extra glasses or anything like that. What I am saying when I'm talking about seeing it, that means being intentional about how you see your future. The mind is an incredible, powerful tool. It will accept any truth or image you submit to it without question. Your mind is not going to question you once you put something in there. It's going to act on your instructions. You tell your mind what to do. Your mind is not going to be hard headed. It's going to do it. So in this year of 2024, you have to visualize yourself being who you want to be. Like see yourself operating in that particular place. If you are in school right now and you're planning to be a doctor, you have to see yourself operating in a room if, you, if you know surgery is your thing. You have to see yourself uh, talking to your patients. You have to see yourself taking, um, doing things that doctors do. Like you have to see yourself there. If you feel like you're going to be a millionaire, you have to see yourself. Not, I told you about this lottery thing. I was on Facebook and the lottery thing just popped up and said it was 500 and some million dollars. I can see myself spending that much money. I can. I can give my, I've already mapped out. If I win it, I, how much I'm going to give this person, how much I'm going to give that person. I have visualized how my life would look. Y'all see this face won't look like this. Ah, I think I'm gonna still be bald headed though. That's one thing you're not gonna worry about me. I'm not gonna buy no wigs, <laughs> and I'm not gonna get no hair sold in. Uh, I, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna be a bald head millionaire. <laughs> That is not going to change, but you have to see yourself living life like you want to see it. Somebody type in the chat. See it. See it. See it. See it. See it. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we got some folk that's moving forward. I'm just not getting to the, to the comment section. Yes, see it. Thank you, Renee. Hey, Veda. I miss you, girl. But well, we got one more week till I see you. Uh, yes, you have to see it. See it, ball headed. That's right. <laughs> you can see me still be a ball headed. Uh huh. It's going to happen. Yes. Yes. Thank you all for participating in the chat. Listen, that's what I mean by when you say it. You have to see it. Ah. And then that leads us to our next key. After you see it, you have to say it and display it. I know y'all like, what that means, say it and display it? Say it and display it goes hand in hand. It is so important. Remember this. It is so important that you say what you write and that you write what you say. Speak what you put in black and white. And what you put in black and white, you have to speak it out. It goes hand in hand. One should not go without the other. And I know I've said this, you know, a few times on um, first Mondays on how I use the, the, the post-its, right? Things I need to remember, things I need to verbalize. So I put it on a mirror, you know, that's the, my, my bathroom mirror, what I'm going to look at every day. So when I write it, I stick it up there. And then every time I see it, I say it out loud. So that is me saying what I have written and write what I want to say day by day. It is so important because consistency is what we need. Y'all know I'm a teacher. You cannot tell someone 
something one time and expect them to remember it nor to apply it. Same thing for us. We have to continue to say it over and 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 over again. Your words, our words are so powerful. Your words are so powerful. Once we get that into our psyche, that our words have so much power, we will understand that the words that come out of our mouth can make something live or it can kill it dead. It can actually make something live or kill it. When you speak, it becomes such an impactful key. Once you start saying something, those words will give you the strength and the power to accomplish the things that you thought was impossible. When you say it, you begin to believe that thing and begin to make it happen. It only is going to work, though, if you believe it. You have to believe these particular things that come out of your mouth. So I believe that I, I'm going to have a talk show. So that has really have come to pass because it, it's not on a major platform, but I've had the talk show. How did that start off? It started off from a desire, a want, right? Me seeing myself on stage with the studio audience, with some cameras, and then me saying it and then displaying it, saying, I am going to do this, displaying it by making the flyers, putting it out there, telling people, y'all need to come see me because I'm talking about some stuff, right? So it starts off one way when you see yourself doing it and then you follow the other keys by saying it and displaying it. So, I was watching um, Squid Games, the second one. So the second one is not like the first one. They don't actually kill you like they did the first one. So don't stone me. But I would recommend after watching it that you go back and see. It's on Netflix. So you can go to the Squid Games 2. It's like a physical challenge type thing. Episode 3 is a perfect example of how this character applied the things that they said and it actually manifested, like from believing exactly what he said. So this particular episode, they call it's called War, episode three. Remember that, episode three, it's called War. So they thought they were going to play tug of war, but they ended up playing like a human, I sunk you, you sunk my battleship. So they had like a board and the humans had to get inside a ship and then they placed it, you know, on the board. The other team, not seeing where they placed their, their ships, had to, you know, push particular places. So this particular character was named TJ. They made him like the captain of their ships. So it was his job to determine where to put the, the missiles for, to hit the other team. His, I guess his theme, his motto at the beginning was not one person is going home. So because this game, if you lost, you got disqualified and then you'll leave and you'll, get, you'll go home off the show. His theme was not one person is going to go home. As the the episode continues to go on, the other team is like hitting people on their boat, right? So in, in order to win, you had to sink two boats. They were hitting individuals, but because of how TJ um, assembled them on the board, you know, it didn't require or didn't allow the other team to sink their boat. But in the midst of it, 
there were various people getting hit. And of course, like people, what we say to the leader, we're hollering at the leader, but he's telling them, trust me, I am not going to lose not one person, not one of us is going home. So they had a ship of five people and it was four people had been hit and all they needed was one more person to get hit for that boat to sink. His words that he kept speaking to the people was, not one of you is going home, just keep the faith. Trust me, believe me. So at the end, the team won and no one went home. What blessed me so in this episode that one of the team members said, you know, they interviewed these members. He said, I am an atheist, but I thank God today <laughs> that I am not going home. So that manifestation of him believing what his words would say and giving it to the people so much to where they were able to trust and believe it. Had, <laughs> had the atheist saying, I'm an atheist, but I thank God. <laughs> that is manifestation. Yes, Janice said, I watched an amazing episode, an example of faith and leadership. It is. I mean, I, I know y'all don't have to watch everything, but if you all can go back and watch that episode, it is a great example of how you can have exactly what you say. Even the scripture of write the vision, make it plain. He wrote it in their hearts. Like he put that word so deep into them that they decided to believe it and run with it. Right? So it's not just a thing of just saying it, but that trusting and that believing, right? You have to have that particular part. And it's not just that. If you want healing, if you want deliverance, if you want wisdom, most of all, if you want discernment, which we're going to need in this, in this time, if you want those particular things, you can say it and you can have it just by trusting and believing it. Oh, somebody writes, say it and believe it. Can you type in the chat? Say it, display it. Say it, display it. I said believe it, but say it, display it. Now, what is the next step or the next key that we need to unlock these particular doors? that is to open. It is receive it. Now, I don't want you to get confused because receiving it is different from manifesting it. Receiving it is different from manifesting. Why is it different? Because receiving is what we do, first of all, in our hearts or our spirits. It's it's almost like it's a spiritual action because you cannot see what it is that you're going to receive. It's not a religious thing, but a spiritual thing. Um, it's about your faith, faith system. For example, let's say you are expecting like an increase in your finances, right? This year, say this year, um, I am going to have, or I believe that I will receive $30,000 increase in my finances because you have to be specific. Let's just say that for an example. You're not saying I believe it's already manifested. You're saying I believe it's provided for me. I believe it's made for me and I receive that. You have to receive it first like in your heart slash in your spirit first for it to manifest in this scene realm where you can see it where you can hold on to it where it's uh where it's tangible it's like receive it the unseen realm manifest is in the scene realm 
So I don't want you to think anything spooky when I say like the unseen realm. I'm not trying to be spooky. But let me explain what I mean by this. If you tell someone, I love you, and they ask you, how do you know you love me? How, 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 can you, how, how can I know that you love me? Or how do you know that? And it's like, I feel it in my heart. I mean exactly what I say. And they can say, that's coming from my heart. Right? Now, we know it's not the organ that is actually coming from, but it's coming from the inner part of our being, right? The center of us, our core. That is our spirit. So it's not necessarily the pumping heart, but the spirit that is down within us. So that means when I say I receive it in my spirit or you need to receive it in your spirit, I'm meaning the same thing as in your heart. First, when you say I believe I receive, do you mean that? You have to mean it and that means you're saying it in your spirit. So that's what I mean by you have to receive it in your spirit first. And then you can receive it. So. You get your, you see it, you say it, display it, and then you have to receive it mentally and internally in your spirit to know that you're going to get it. That's when the manifestation can happen. What is manifest? Manifest is like it's revealed, right? You reveal it. Have you ever been to like a reveal party? Um, where whether it's a gender reveal or revealing of a new building or a book or movie or whatever, it's almost like they saying, ta-da, you know, here it is. Something that you can actually see. It is revealed, right? It is natural to the eye. So it's something that is anticipated and expected. Like you're expecting it to happen. That's the same thing as manifestation. So here at manifestation time, when it's time to manifest, it is celebration time. So in 2024, it will be our year to what? Celebrate. Because we're going to use these keys to unlock the doors because it's already the doors. So that means the doors are already open for us because it's the, the year of open doors. The doors are already open. It is up to us in order to walk through them. We have to first see it, say it and display it, receive it, and then it's manifested. That's when we walk through it. So if this is the year of open door, that means we're going to have a year of celebration. Oh, when we go through a door, it's time to celebrate. That means new things are happening. That means the thing that I've been waiting for, I finally get a chance to experience it and have it. What will you celebrate this year? What door will you walk through this year? Remember, the doors are already open, waiting on us to walk through them. We have the keys already. We possess it. That's the great thing about these keys. It's not something that you have to go and purchase. It's not something that you have to have uh, this great intellect to receive it. It's something that we already possess on the inside of us. The only difference is, although the keys look alike, have you seen like house key? Most house keys look alike, but they're cut different because our doors are going to be different. Everyone is not going to walk in the same open door. So what I love about these keys, that mean my keys is already trimmed out for me, for my door that I have to walk into. 
my level of saying things, my level of seeing things, my level of displaying and receiving will cause these doors that are already open for me, for me to walk through them. How much can you see? How many things can you say? How many ways can you display it? How open is your spirit and your heart to receive so you can manifest and walk through these unlocked doors that are already open? It is going to be a year of celebration if you utilize the keys that you already have. We have it. It's already up in us. All we have to do is use it, use it, use it, use it. I hear you. Retirement, give me my keys. <laughs> I hear you. Listen, you can have it this year. You can retire. No matter, if, even if you're not even at the age, you can still retire. If you see it, say it, display it, receive it. It will be manifested to you. Yes. Uh, Teresa Butcher say that she's cut different. <laughs> oh, we're talking about the keys. The keys are cut different. I'm cut different too. <laughs> I'm cut different. I'm built different, cut different. Yes. So that means my doors are going to be different from anyone else. But one thing is for sure. We all have some open doors. How do I know that you have some doors open? It's the year of open door and you made it to the year. It is the year of open doors and you made it through the year. That means some doors are open already for you. What's the keys we use to get through it? See it, say it, display it, receive it, and manifest it. Woo! I didn't take a lot of time. I took more time than I thought. But I am so glad that you all have hung out with me on New Year. Happy New Year. It is the year 2024. And remember, if you don't remember anything, remember this is a year of open door. And in order for you to unlock it in the spirit realm, because the doors are already open. So not, you're not taking the key. This is a spiritual thing that you see it, say it, display it, receive it, and manifest it. All right. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this first Monday of 2024. Thank you for taking out the time during your holiday. Today is a holiday. I wanted to do it on another day, but I can't call it first Monday and not come home on first Monday, right? So I took out a little time just to hang out with you all because I enjoy being here with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done to support. And the best is yet to come because we're going to celebrate this year. And I cannot wait to hear the doors that you're going to walk through. And I'm definitely going to share my doors. Look for it. It's going to be a door. It's a door that's cracked right now. And I'm going to, boom, I'm going to kick it through. Ooh! And I'm going to share it with you all. And we're going to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. So you all enjoy the rest of your day and your night with your family and your friends. And enjoy the rest of this month, January. Bunch of doors opening. For all of you that are starting to gear off right with um uh, with fasting. I can't say gear off right. You you starting a year with fasting. I can't say it's right because that's what I do. It's right for me. Might not be right for you, but whatever it is that you plan to do, because at this particular time, and I meant to say this with the displaying, because this is the year, the time that we do our um you may do a prayer board. Um, you may be a your goal might be a goal board. If it, whatever type of board that you want to do at this particular year, this is the time to do it. To write it down. To say it. Display it. Go back to it. Receive it. That whatever you put down that you're gonna have, and then celebrate because the doors are open. Hey, you all have a wonderful, wonderful 
wonderful rest of the month. And I'll see you all on first Monday in February. You all have a wonderful night. Watch out, world, I'm coming through. Watch out, watch out, world, I'm coming through. Watch out. You can fear in life. Love, lost, have no fear. Just keep pushing me strong. Keep the faith until change comes. Strength is not how much you can ever overcome in what you can do alone. Love, lost, have no fear Just keep pushing me